All right, here's my old table. As you can see, everything's disconnected. Still rolls nice and smooth. I had to spray some of that rubber stuff on there so it would stop leaking. The table's got some holes in it that I have plugged with tape and rubber and everything else. That is retired. So let's walk in here and see what we got going on in the middle of a couple jobs still but I got tired of looking at this thing and rolling it in and out man that looks good and as you can see it was a super tight fit Travel on this table is five foot three inches on the X and ten foot five inches on the Y, if I remember correctly. Um, right now, I just have just these three wires run into it, and it kind of set up in there uh, did some test cuts these are the test cuts some rusty 14 gauge and this is right off the table there's no cleanup no wire wheel I just threw a piece of metal up on the table and cut some circles there's zero dross none at all I do have that little divot right there but that's on the lead end I mean there's that cut is so nice and also I cut a piece of 063 aluminum and my first cut was a flag no cleanup on it this is the top you're gonna get a little blowback from where it pierces and as you can see it just peels right off I mean the cuts look really nice I mean really really nice on this this is the back I mean, there is so little dross on these cuts. It's incredible how nice that it cuts when the table's nice and uh, rigid. I have a good torch holder on it. But we'll walk back over here to the table. <clears throat> my original control box I have it sitting over here on the side just to get it out of the way um, there's all my connections I might build a smaller 4x4 maybe a router table I don't know yet I'm gonna scrap the other table but keep all of the parts um, originally that control box was hanging off the back of this cart and I didn't like it because it was too heavy this little wire here um, the wheel will get caught up on the wire so I really didn't like the cart but because of 
the limited space I have, I still might keep it and do something else because it's only the three little wires. Um, I just have the plasma cutter sit on a little shelf for now. Um, the bad thing is, is the uh, frame of the rack is in the way of completely opening the door for my control cabinet. So I could probably cut this brace out of here or um, relocate it. Instead of it being welded there, I can weld it down there, which will allow my door to open and still keep the rigidity of the rack. Um, look, quick look. You can see I got my MTA 250 card in there. Um, I'll do another video of the actual wiring of this cabinet <coughs> and the setup of this, um, the electronics and stuff like that. I want to do a more detailed video of how <coughs> that a lot of people don't do they just show this oh okay yeah i had somebody do this cabinet or um this company did this or i bought this and just uh, here it is now i don't want to do a video like that i want a detailed instructions so if somebody wants to go this route it's pretty easy to figure out um this feather Feather Touch uh, O2 from C and CNC, and it has the one wire that goes back to the control box. All these are your limits and stuff, um, and your touch off, which is super nice. I bought one of these Chinese torch holders, and I had to cut a piece off of that. Let me see if I still have it over here by my saw and I do not see it but anyway oh here it is <coughs> this is what came on the torch holder so it was actually part of that and then this is supposed to be your mounting I didn't like this um, as you can see it's a hefty piece of aluminum half inch Machine work is really nice on it. I was happy with it. I think I paid 150 bucks for it. Um, my opinion, definitely well worth it. Uh, what I did is I machined a flat aluminum block and drilled and counterbored three uh, 1032 uh, screws. Pretty much the same as this, how there's a screw in there. It's counterbored and you can tighten it. But um, there's three screws that are holding this on here. Um, I'm still running a floating torch head here um, because I like all of the added security of all the switches. If one don't work, I got a bunch more that will make up for it and not break my torch. And it keeps it nice and rigid. Um, as you can see, it's still a floating torch head. Um, I put the little springs on there. Um, to make sure that it holds it down and there's enough weight and if it bumps into something That will throw it in the e-stop Self-centering level it's nice really really nice. I like it very 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 happy with it um, here's the old feather touch and I it works I just didn't care for it I like the idea of all of the inputs on this so my both of my sensors for my collision sensors which will throw it in the e-stop are connected here I have my X Y and Y1 that I have it labeled as for my homing and that all comes back through just this one cable. So I have one cable that goes back. Not all of these wires, which is really nice. These wires are just coming from the sensors. So I have a homing sensor here on the X, um, on the Y, 
I have a homing sensor here as well as the other side and it's just one wire that goes up in there I have quick connects on my motors <clears throat> this is the the two to one belt reduction um, <clears throat> I went with the standard drives instead of the pro drives because uh, they were a little bit cheaper um, I didn't want to spend the extra money for the pro drives because these drives the standard drives work fine they actually they work really good um, I took this one off of my other table I had to cut it in half but I still need to paint these um, <clears throat> and I wrote down the measurement for the slats what size they were um, I have them set up that I can put a slat every two inches but so far I haven't needed it because that's a lot of money in metal right there for slats because that's all 11 gauge but this is it so far I gotta lengthen my e-stop button because I took it off the old table that's why it's sitting there table works really good moves really fast cuts nice very very rigid I'll do I'll do some more videos um, like I said, I got to modify the rack there to be able to open the control cabinet and I'll do a video on how I did all the wiring and right now what I'll do is I'll climb under here and show you. This is the MP3700 I think. Yeah. That's sorry, it's upside down. But this is the CN CNC MP3700 with their torch height control. That's where all of my limits plug in here. Um, this goes to the uh, what is that MP250 card? MTA card I mean uh, that's what this wire goes to and the power um, and these three wires are the ones that run to the computer um, I have the full tap set up and there's my torch light controller on my plasma I will do some more videos on how every, I set everything up, where the wires go on this. Um, also, I'll have better lighting so you can see. Um, some of the manuals aren't really very informative. They help, but they're not always right. Um, what is in the manual, how my setup is, is different, and I'll show you some differences. How to set up everything on the motors, your steps, and all of that. But this will be it for now.